boys and girls, do you like spaghetti and meatballs? I know that I sure do. And so today's read aloud is called On Top of Spaghetti. If you know the song, sing along with me. Howdy folks. Welcome to Yodeler Jones's Spaghetti Emporium and Music How. You were just in time to hear about the big sneeze. See his specials? All spaghetti and meatballs. It all started when they put in that fried fritter fricassee parlor next door. I couldn't haul in a customer with a line and a pole. Yodeler, I said to myself. It's time to upgrade the menu. See, there's the new restaurant. So I set out to invent the most delicious meatball this side of Sicily. And I likely did, but the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough for a taste test. Okay, here we go. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Ew. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled out of the door. For all I knew, my entire future depended on that runaway meatball. I had to have a bite. I was hot on the trail when it flew to the Piggly Wiggly and hit dear Miss Jenkins smack dab in the squash. Part of my meatball, I said. Then I told my tale. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. That wasn't the end of it, though, not by a monkey's tail. My meatball went a whooshin' and a whizzin', and this time it landed in front of the sheriff's office. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Next thing I knew, my meatball zinged all the way to the ballpark. By the time I caught up, some tadwhacker was just about to chomp down. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody squeezed. That meatball shot to the outfield, boomerang, whizzed by a shortstop, flew over the pitcher's mound, and headed directly for home plate. Bad Bubba Jr. was up at bat. Talk about your home run. My meatball zoomed through the wild blue yonder. And where do you reckon it landed? It rolled in the garden and under a bush. And then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. Hmm. Yodler, I said, you might as well put up a for sale sign. Then lo and behold, a miracle occurred. The mush was as tasty as tasty could be. And by the next day, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew great big meatballs and tomato sauce. That's my kind of tree.
know what? Those were the most delicious meatballs this side of Sicily. Nowadays, plenty of folks stop in for a bellyful. I always tell them, though, if you eat spaghetti, all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatball and don't ever sneeze. is the song on the very last page on the very back they even include a recipe for spaghetti and meatballs hope you enjoyed this is making me hungry see you soon bye